Hello and welcome again to another day of classes. Today we're going to be continuing with the Interchange 5th edition level 3, the Green Book, and today we're going to be studying with the unit 6. As always, we'll start with a language summary or the vocabulary for this lesson. So, let's jump right in. Okay, nouns. As always with nouns. We're going to be seeing different electronics. Battery. These are battery. Batteries. Batteries. Battery or battery. It depends on if it's the English accent or the American accent. The English accent is a battery. And the American accent is battery. And these are types of cells or different, you know, packages where electricity is stored. And this is usually used for electronics. A computer screen or a monitor. Oven. These are ovens. We, we use it to heat a uh, different food, for example. Printer. This is a printer. Refrigerator. Or also known as fridge. Fridge is the short version that it uh, usually call in America and the United States. But the complete name is refrigerator. Remote or temperature controls. The controls are different types of devices that helps you control an electronic device. You have a remote control that is for the TVs and it's this one, and the temperature control that it's this one and it's to regulate the temperature if you have an air conditioner or something like that. A TV screen. This is a TV screen and a big one at that. Washing machine or also known as laundromat. These are the machines used to wash your clothes. Charge, or a charger, it's this device used to charge phones or others, other electronic devices. Complaint, a statement that something is unsatisfactory or unacceptable. When you make a complaint, is you say you're saying like, no, this was really, really bad. I don't like this service at all. It was awful. So you're complaining. A complaint is the thing. To complain is the verb, and complaining is in continuous. Crack. To break something so that it does not separate, but very thin lines appear on its surface, or to become broken in this way. This is a crack. When you have a small like gaps or spaces between the things, but it's not completely broken. It's just that it has these lines and it's starting to break. And that it's a crack. Damage. Damage is any type of, you know, of this thing. That it's basically affecting the surface of something. This screen is damaged. This uh, car is damaged. The street is damaged. It's basically that it's not good. Lens or lenses. These are lenses. You can have contact lenses or the lenses of a camera. Of a camera. Suitcase lining. A material or a substance that covers the inside or surface of something. Okay, it's like this type right here. Like the cloth inside of a... Of the suitcase that is not like the button it's like this that is um pink that cloth that it's lining is the material or substance that covers the inside surface of something basically a mug a large cup with a straight sides used to hot to used for hot drinks this is a mug and you usually drink coffee in one of those a pickup this is a type of car a pickup Pitcher. A pitcher is in a baseball game, the one that throws the ball, and also is the name for this type of, you know, uh, thing that we use on the, to, to serve water. Pitcher, this part right here. A receipt. The receipt is like the bill that is used when you buy in a store, in a restaurant, or something like that, where it details all of the things that you bought. Refund, an amount of money that is given back to you, especially because you're not happy with a product or service that you have bought. 
basically when you don't like something you say okay no you know what give me my money i want a refund and they give you back your money scratch cut or damage on a surface of your or your skin slightly with with or on something sharp or rough basically scratches are something like this small things that were doing were done with something sharp or rough usually these are made by a cat like the one that i have meowing sometimes or this like by uh, getting with the same with, with another car touching with another car and then you get a scratch seller she is a seller because she sells she sells things a shirt this is a shirt stain these are stains things that do not get easily from you know uh, floors or type of clothes and then can be you can have a wine like alcohol or something like that stain or ketchup stain or something like that store credit these are credit cards or credit vouchers that can be redeemed at a different stores that you can only buy with them on a store for example a good buy store credit it's like you can only use it there to buy Tablecloth, large piece of cloth that covers a table during a meal and protects or decorates it. This is a cloth that is big enough for a table, so it's a tablecloth. Tear, a tear is what you start going on your face when you are really sad and you start crying. And it's also the action of ripping apart something, like you can tear your this paper or you can tear your pants and it's like this basically temperature the temperature it's the degrees or the celsius the different type of hot or cold that an ambient is basically tenant a person who pays rent for the use of land house or a building okay the tenant is the person that is living in the houses that in the house that is rented, basically. Vase. This is a vase. Warranty. Written promise from a company to repair or replace a product that develops a fault within a particular period of time, or to do a piece of work again if it's not satisfactory. So basically, the warranty is the making sure that. If this doesn't work, like we're saying that it's gonna work, then we give it your money back or we change it. That is a warranty. Let's see some adjectives. Chipped. Oh my god, this must have hurt. Do you imagine eating some ice cream like that? Oh my god, no. Okay, chipped with a small piece or pieces broken off. This teeth is chipped because it's missing a small piece of it. Cracked. This is like a crack well, that we saw before, but this is the act, an active. So we can say that this screen or this mirror, it's cracked. Damaged. When something is damaged is when it's not okay. It's having some failures of some kinds. In this case, this, uh, this light of this car is damaged. Dented or a dent. Is a small hollow mark in the surface of something caused by pressure or being hit. A dent or being dented is this type of thing. Okay, if you hit a car with another car, it gets it gets dented. Made. The definition of made is invented or created, often in a particular manner. When you say made, it means that it was created in that place or in that way. For example, if you say made in China, it means that it was created in China, basically. Scratched. This is scratched. You have, you remember the scratch? If something is affected by the scratch, you can, you say that it's scratched. Stained. Stained means that it has some stain. The stain that we saw before. In this case, the crystal can be stained and now it has that color. Torn. You remember tear, a tear. Then, if you do that, the adjective will be torn. So it's you know 
cut in half or ripped apart. Dirty. When it's dirty, it's when it's not clean. Reliable. When it's reliable, it means that you can trust on it. Throw away. Made to be destroyed after use, like all of the plastic and this. Oh my god, this is too much contamination for the environment. But yeah, throw away, it's something that is made to be destroyed after use. Or recycled, that will be better. Let's see some verbs. To bill. To send someone a bill telling them how much money they owe for goods or services that they have received. Book. To to arrange to have a seat, room, performer, etc. at a particular time in the future. It's basically saying that, oh, in the future I want to go to this place in the seat or have this room or etc. etc. Okay, very good. Break. When you break something, it's when you it's in one piece and you make it different pieces. Crash. When you crash is when, for example, a car or any other type of big automotive mobile, you know, any, any kind of thing, collides with another thing. In this case, these two cars crash. Deliver. When you deliver is when you send things to another person, and it's the moment that it gets to the other person. Die. To stop living or existing, either suddenly or slowly. We all die at the end. Drop. To fall or to allow something to fall. So you drop it. Flicker. To shine with a light that is sometimes bright and sometimes weak. So it's like changing from bright to weak. So it makes like this, like a flick. So it flickers. Freeze. If you freeze something, you lower its temperature below zero degrees Celsius, causing it to become cold and often hard. And if something freezes, its temperature, and if temperature goes below zero Celsius, zero degrees Celsius, sorry. Okay. So you put it in a really cold place in order to become frozen. Have a knife for. To be able to recognize, appreciate, and make good judgments about something. You can, you can have a knife for uh, shoes, you can have a knife for clothes, you can have a knife for computers, for games, etc. Highlight. This is highlighting. To highlight, it's to basically this. Let me see. For example, if I highlight this, it means that I am putting some things on top of it in, in order to make you focus on this. Because if you read this, that feels good. You can draw attention of people to a word. Now, if it's highlighted, you know what you can do. Okay? Very good. Okay. Jam. To be or make something unable to move. It's if it is jammed, you cannot move it. That's why the traffic jams are the meaning of a multiple cars that cannot move because of something in the street. Leak. Of a liquid or gas to escape from a hole or crack in a pipe or container of a container to allow liquid or gas to escape. When something is leaking or it leaks, it means that there is a small hole of some kind that it's letting the thing go out. If it's water or juice or any kind of thing that is a liquid or gas, basically. Pick up. When you Pick up something, it's when something is on the floor, and you take it with you, out of the floor. Pretend. To behave as if something is true when you know that it is not, especially in order to deceive people or as a game. So when you're pretending, it's making like, do action in a different way that you're supposed to. Purchase. When you purchase something, it's when you buy something, basically. You are looking for the thing, you look at the price, and then you pay for it, so you purchase it. Repair. To put something that is damaged or broken or not working correctly back into good condition or make it work again. So, it is not working, you repair it, and now it works. Replace. To take the place of something, or to put something or someone in the place of something or someone else. So, for example, 
If your the battery of your cell phone is not working, you replace it for another one, and now it works. Rip. To pull apart, to tear or be torn violently and quickly. To remove something quickly without being careful, that is to rip. Rush. When you rush something, it's when you do it fast or quick. Skip. To move lightly and quickly, making a small jump after each step. It's like small jumps, one after the other. So, just skip it. That's why you skip the rope. Spot. When you spot, it's when you... Let's see... It's when you identify something in a group. So, you spot the red man between the white men's. State. To say or write something, especially clearly and carefully. When you state something, it's like saying this is this and that's and those, and you're stating it. Okay? For example, I'm gonna state the definition of work. To do a job, especially the job you do to earn money. That is work as function. Okay, very good. Those were the words, the grammar, the, the grammar, no, the, the vocabulary for today. We're going to come back here when we get to the grammar. But for now, let's go to the book. Okay, very good. We're going to be starting with a snapshot. And, by the way, sorry, this unit set, it's called That's, That Needs Fixing. And we're going to be describing problems and making complaints. And in the next video, we're going to be discussing what, need, what needs fixing. Okay? And we're going to start with this snapshot some common complaints okay very good okay some common complaints that you can find in different establishments in banking a common complaint can be the credit card company bills you for something you didn't buy that is something worth a complaint online shopping the store sends you an incorrect size very good internet providers the internet connection is not reliable and you hardly ever get the speed you pay for. That is a really bad thing to happen, and I would complain right away. Restaurants. The server rushes you to leave as soon as you finish your meal. That is something that feels really bad, actually. Vehicles. Your new car consumes too much gas. Something worth of a complaint. Repair services. Your TV breaks again. A week after it was repaired. So it, it seems like it was not actually repaired as well. Parking garage. Someone dam damages your car. That is really worth of a complaint. Have you ever had any of these complaints or these problems? What would you do in each one of these situations? What other complaints have you had? You can comment them down below. Okay, let's continue with these perspectives. That's not right. You're going to listen to people describe their complaints and check what you think each person should do. Okay, so we're going to be listening and reading, and then we're going to choose which one is the thing that they should do. Okay, so let's listen and read. Unit 6. That needs fixing. Page 36. Exercise 2. Perspectives. That's not right. Part A. Listen to people describe complaints. Check what you think each person should do. 1. I got a new suitcase, but when I arrived home, I noticed the lining was torn. Take it back to the store. Ask the store to send you a new one. 2. My father sent me a coffee mug with my favorite team's logo, but when it arrived, it was chipped. Tell your father about it. Contact the seller yourself. 3. I lent my ski pants to a friend, but when he returned them, there was a big stain on them. Clean them yourself. Ask him to have them cleaned. 4. My boss borrowed my camera for a company event, and now the lens is scratched. Talk to him or her about it. Say nothing and repair it yourself. 5. I bought a new washing machine just a month ago, and it's leaking already. Ask for a refund. Send it back and get a new one.
Okay, very good. So what would you do in these situations? If you got a new suitcase, but it arrived home, it had the light return, I would take it back to the stores. What would you do? If you finally sent up a coffee mug with your favorite team's logo, but it was cheap, you would, would you tell your father about it, or you contact the seller yourself? I think I would do both. I would tell to my father, and then I will ask for the information of the warranty, and then contact the seller myself. I lent my ski pants to a friend, but when he returned, there was a big stain on them. I think I cleaned them myself. I asked him to have them clean, it would be a kind of bad situation. My boss borrowed my camera for a company event, and now the lens is scratched. I will talk to him or her about it, actually. Uh, that's I, I don't care if he's my boss, but, you know, he asked for it, he borrowed it, so if he damaged it, he damages it, it needs to pay for it. I bought a new washing machine just a month ago, and it's leaking already. I would set it back and get a new one or ask for a refund. Both of them are correct. What would you do? Okay, now let's go right away to the grammar for today. Okay, it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be related with the vocabulary that we saw today. Okay, we're gonna be seeing how to describe problems, both today and on the next video. So. Let's start with this. Describing problems, part one. But, as always, I have some, some, you know, some material for this. Let's see. Well, it's the one on the, on the book with some extras and some different things, okay? Very good. Let's see. We can describe problems with past participles as adjectives and with nouns, okay? The suitcase lining is torn. This is the past participle as adjective. Or, as a noun, it has a tear in it. There's a hole in it. That's why we saw both the nouns and the adjectives, basically. You know that a tear, it's like a small hole inside of something that is made of cloth. And torn is the adjective when it, it has a tear. So you can say it in both ways. The suitcase lining is torn or it has a tear or a hole in it. The car is damaged, you know, as an adjective. There is some damage on the bumper. That is another way to say it. The coffee mug is chipped. There is a chip in it. There are two ways. My pants are stained. Or they have a stain on them. It's the way to say it with the noun. A stain, a chip, scratches, damaged, tear, hole. Or using the adjective. Torn, damaged, chipped, stained, scratched. Okay? The camera lens is scratched. There are a few scratches on it. The washing machine is leaking and it has a leak. And this is an exception right here. That is leaking is a present continuous form. Okay? The simple past and the past participle of regular verbs are the same. Okay? So, I chipped the vase and the vase is chipped. But, many irregular verbs have different simple past and past participle form. For example, I tore my jacket, that's the past, and my jacket is torn, that's the past participle. Something to keep in mind. If it's regular, they are both the same. If not, you need to be checking on them, okay? Okay, let's continue. Okay, this is for the next class, so we're gonna leave it here for now, okay? We're gonna continue on the next one. Okay, so as we were seeing, this is the way to do it. It's just basically with adjectives and with nouns. So I hope that you understand it. It's to say that is the adjective, it's torn, it's damaged, it's chipped, it are stained, it's scratched, it's leaking, or say what it has with nouns. It has a tear, there is some damage, there is a chip, it has a, they have a stain, there's a few scratches, it has leaked, etc. etc. I hope that you understand this because it's actually quite easy. The important thing is to remember the vocabulary, what is tear and torn, what is damage, what is a chip or chipped, what is a stain or a stain, what is a scratch or a scratched, and what is a leak or when something is leaking, okay? Very good. Now, if you understand this, let's do this a small exercise right here. You're going to read the comments from customers in a restaurant. And then you're gonna write two in two different ways using forms of the word in parentheses. And then you're gonna compare with me with the answers that we're gonna check, okay? 
So take your time to complete this and then we're gonna check. For example, the first one. Could we have another water pitcher? This one, and we have crack. This one is cracked or it has a crack. There are two ways, okay? So take your time to complete this and then we're gonna check. Okay, you finished? Let's check. Could we have another water pitcher? This one is cracked or this one has a crack in it. The valet was very careless. My car is dented or my car has a dent in it. The toilet is dirty and the sink is leaking and the sink has a leak. Both of them are correct. This tablecloth isn't very clean. It is stained or it has a stain on it. Would you bring me another glass? This glass is chipped. This glass has a chip in it. The table looks pretty dirty. The wood is scratched too. The wood has a lot of scratches too. The server needs a new shirt. The one he's wearing is torn. The one he's wearing has a tear in it. The walls really need paint and the ceiling is damaged. And the ceiling has some damage. Okay, if you have either of these, you are correct. Very good. Now, let's continue to the next one. And it's gonna be the last thing for the day that it's a listening. Okay, okay, very good. Listen to three customers return the items they purchased and then complete the charge. Did the store give the refund and why or why not? Okay. So take your time to listen, and then we're gonna check, okay? Okay, so let's listen. Page 38, exercise four, listening. I'd like a refund, part A. Listen to three customers return items they purchased. Complete the chart. One, Evie. Hello, how can I help you? Yes. I bought this dress yesterday. Here's the receipt. I was at an important business dinner, bent over to pick something up, and the zipper in the back ripped. See? Oh my. Yes, I see. Luckily I was sitting down, but I had to pretend I was cold and wear my husband's jacket all night. Then the server turned up the heat because he thought I was cold. I was sweating all night. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Let me take care of this and give you your money back. 2. Darren Welcome to Electronic City. I'd like a refund for this broken coffee maker. Hmm, it's pretty stained and damaged. Do you have the receipt? How can I have a receipt for something I bought four years ago? Sir, without a receipt, we can't give you a refund. And the warranty on these is two years. So if it's been four, we can't help you. Just give me a new one then. I need my coffee. Unfortunately, we can't give away coffee makers, but I can show you some on sale. Just follow me. 3. Gisela Excuse me, I bought this laptop two days ago, opened it, and found this scratch on the screen. Oh, that is a bad scratch. But we don't sell this brand. That's impossible. I was here last week. Look at this receipt. Ma'am, this is from Electronic City, our competitor. We're Electronics World. Oh, that's right. I bought my tablet here and my laptop there. How embarrassing. Don't worry. I'm sure Electronic City will take care of it. And let us know if you need any help with your tablet. Will do. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, that was really... Uh, Gisela was so pissed about it. And then it wasn't even them. So, I don't know. Always be, you know, be polite when you're talking about different things like this, okay? Okay, so let's check. Did you get the answer for this? If you do, let's check. Well, Evie got her refund and was because her dress ripped and she had a receipt. So she got her, it's her refund. And Darren didn't have a receipt, and the coffee maker was four years old with a warranty of two years, so he did not get a refund. Gisela uh, was at the wrong store, so she didn't get any refund, okay? Okay, 
Well, that's been everything for today. On the next class, we're going to be continuing with the rest of this unit. We're going to be looking at more ways to describe problems. But that's been everything for today. I hope that you like this class. And I see, let's see you in the next time, okay? Bye!